Marty, a gourmet meal doesn't always mean you have to start from scratch. And Chef Ivana is proving it to us in today's Daily Dish. So she is making us a slow cooker beef korma that takes advantage of a couple of grocery store finds. So here's what you'll need. A boneless chuck roast, onions, garlic, some salt and pepper, vegetables, sauerkraut, korma mix, coconut cream, full fat yogurt, and beef stock. Okay, how do we uh, get started with this dish? So in the winter months, I'm a big fan of doing, um, especially I, I feel like uh, during COVID, everybody's emotions are kind of on the hour and they change. So there's days that I don't want to cook and I want to do like a cheat kind of thing where I know if I can put it on, I don't have to worry about it for the whole day. And this is one of those dishes. And then there's days that, you know, I'll start a 60 layer uh, crepe cake at midnight <laughs> and finish at 5 a.m. So the emotions are all over the place but this is something like Indian food is so comforting during the winter and the stews and the curries I mean the the scent when you walk into the house like you did all this work but you didn't so it's very very simple <laughs> I have beef in here you can do boneless or not uh, you can also do uh, tofu if you like if you're a vegetarian and just onions garlic um, you throw it all in a bag with a little bit of oil and then the cheat is uh, getting a korma mix that's already done. So um, there's a couple of brands. If you go to any of the major stores, you're going to be able to see that mix. So uh, um, uh, korma is usually, uh, beef korma is usually coconut, um, uh, veggies, uh, you have your yogurt, and it's just uh, simmered at a very low heat. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop this whole bag. You can marinate it for, you know, overnight. I like doing it the night before, putting it in a bag. And in your fridge, I'm sure everybody's fridge nowadays is so full that the bag can kind of creak in all those uh, <laughs> little empty spots that you have. So you don't have to worry about a bowl and just throw it in there. You don't have to worry about a big mess. But now I don't have to worry about the oil or anything like that. Do be careful with your salt content because, you know, your stock, if it's bought, it has sodium in it, go for the low sodium. Certain things like sauerkraut has salt. The spices have a lot of salt. So make sure that you're not too crazy with that. We're gonna go ahead and put a kind of like a Balkan Middle Eastern spin on this. I love doing sauerkraut with this. I think it's delicious. Uh, makes me feel like I'm back home. And then you can go ahead with the roasted root vegetables, carrots, parsnips. I like these because um, they're quite sweet. So I love root vegetables that have that sweetness to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead with the stock. You're gonna do a liter of that. How easy was that, Tracy? That is super and easy. Pepper. And I mean, what does the sauerkraut do for the flavor of this whole dish, Ivana? You say it reminds you of home, but what does it actually do to the flavor of the dish? Yeah, I know when we came to Canada, my parents would put on uh, homemade sauerkraut in the backyard for four, three, four months where it was curing cabbage and I'm sure my whole uh, town complex would smell <laughs> that. So it definitely <laughs> reminds me of home. Of, I, every, the neighbors all knew when that sauerkraut bucket was getting open to make sure that that sauerkraut is getting made and you know things like that i mean you know i i, I once again i embrace all of that you know <laughs> i love and it and then we're gonna go ahead and put this on thank you and then we're gonna go ahead and put this on for uh you could do medium heat walk away i mean i start this sometimes at night and then during the midday the next day i know my stew is ready and i will turn i will just keep this guy on because I'll be eating this thing literally every couple of hours because it's on, it's warm, it's done. And then once we've had the two, three hours in there, we're going to go ahead, finish with the green peas. You can go ahead and, you know, put any kind of frozen veg. It's really up to you. Coconut cream. This is like the pure stuff. There's no gum. There's no um, anything other than natural coconut cream in there. You can use milk, but the coconut cream just has that, gives it that texture, that creaminess, um, the body as well. It'll look thicker. And then you'll know with the yogurt, that's another classic in the korma you'll you want to make sure that this is not too too high so when you add in your yogurt it doesn't curdle so you want to have it on kind of low a little bit when you're adding in the yogurt and just let it simmer let it go on for another hour and then voila you're done this is what you end up getting super delicious Ooh, nice. i like to even freeze it and then um i just you know pull it up whenever i want and i feel like it's so so simple 
beautiful dish. The final dish looks gorgeous. I'm sure it smells amazing uh, in your place. And I love that you took us for a little trip down memory lane. That is lovely. Thank you, Ivana. Thank you so much. Enjoy, and I hope uh, everybody makes this dish. I think a lot of us will. The recipe is up on our website. It's cityline.tv. You can find that recipe and all of our recipes on our website.